Come on, be ready. Jesus said, 
inquired of him. Uh, he told all about a lot. And because he was able to do that, he said, Sir, I perceive that you're a prophet. And so this question had been on the line for a while. She said, Our father worked in this mountain, but the Jews say the Jews live in this place as well. Jesus responded to her and said, Woman, you worship, and you know not what? Salvation is of the Jews. Basically, they, the Samaritans had set up worship there in Mount Gerson. And that's where they were. And see, our father said, This mountain, Jesus said, You worship, you know not what, but salvation is of the Jews. Because she said, the Jews said, The rules were different places. And it is what God has said. And so Jesus further tells her. He said, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither in this mountain nor at Jerusalem worship the Father. God and Spirit, they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. But God seeketh such to worship Him. It's what God wants. I end it last week encouraging you. To want to worship the Lord. As I close, telling you that I'm saying last week, but it seemed like there was two weeks ago. But I was telling you that if God has been good to you, then you ought to honor God. That ain't that hard, amen? But here's the real deal that God allowed the sun to shine on the dust because of God's dust. God's love is good to fall on the evil and also on the tough, and they never turn and give God honor. They never turn and, 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 and bow and worship God. Because even before the Lord blessed them, God knows that. They are away from him and they, as some folks say, they ain't stuck, God. But that are not people of God. I mentioned to you, so I, I won't tell you everything that I told you, but just to just just to get you thinking about what we what our obligation is as God's I tell you again, you are obligated to God. You see, the heathen ain't obligated. But if the heathen turn and obligated and all. Oh, 
Old Testament, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And what I wanted to show you is, is that you got to put your heart in it. They don't just show up. But here, here's why I ended. Go with me to Hebrews chapter 12, chapter 10. Here's what Peter says. Peter, first Peter chapter 2, verse number 5. And ye also as live the stone are built up a spiritual priesthood. Peter said, ye are a spiritual priesthood. Not like the, the Jews. It was a physical priesthood. You had to be in the lineage of Levi in order to be a priest. And if you were in the lineage of Levi, you served in the priesthood, you had an obligation to God. In that, in that, to serve. And every priest, every priest, standing faithfully, ministering, ministering, and offering, oftentimes, and offering, oftentimes, the same sacrifice, the same sacrifice, which can never take away which sin. Which never take away sin. Now, if I read that a little bit different, if you look at your Bible, without offering, he says, and every priest standing daily, ministering. And offering sacrifice. So you don't want to miss that because what he's telling you is he says now sometimes they're offering the same sacrifice. And so when you oftentimes the same sacrifice, so if you if you put the oftentimes the same sacrifice in there, you might miss that the priest stood daily ministering and offering sacrifice to the Lord. That's what they did. Now, sometimes it was the same sacrifice. But all the time they were there. Y'all see the first word of that verse? What's the first word of the verse? Often time, my bad. Often time. What's the next word? I want to know. You see, every priest. What's interesting about that, the priesthood was the, the, the men in the Levi uh, that were uh, in the lineage of Levi, started with Aaron and all of his sons, and then it came down through the generation. But every priest had an obligation to God. You see, I, they, could, they couldn't do service for each other. It says, ye also, as lively stone, are built up a spiritual house, a what? A, a holy priesthood. What he say you do? Offer of spiritual sacrifice. So you offer of spiritual sacrifice, just like they did. They offer spiritual, they offer physical sacrifice. We offer spiritual sacrifice. So every priest had an obligation to make an offering to the Lord. We are the priesthood of God, and every one of us is obligated to worship the Lord. I can't do it for you. I can't do it for my wife. She can't do it for me. I can't do it for my kids. They got all worship God themselves because we are the priesthood of God. Every Christian is a priest in the priesthood of the Lord. Jesus Christ being 
the high priest. But it's a go back with me to Philippians chapter 3 and verse number 3. It's a spiritual thing. What he said. For we are of the circumcision. It is Paul writing and Paul say, We are the Jews. We are the circumcision. Now, what makes that interesting is understand the Jews, they worship God differently than we do today. But Paul said, We are the circumcision. We're the Jews. That what he said. Worship God in the that spirit. worship God how? In the spirit. In the spirit, which is what Jesus told the woman at the well. Keep reading. And rejoice in Christ Jesus. We rejoice in Christ Jesus. Because Jesus changed this thing and he's doing something different. And the Jews, there, there are a bunch of Jews who would never accept it. And they were locked in Judaism. And a lot of them are locked in Judaism today. And Paul said, but we're the circumcision who worship God in the spirit according to Christ Jesus. Keep reading what he said. And have no confidence in the flesh. We don't have any confidence in the flesh. It's not the physical thing. When they came and made an offering, the priest who stood daily, every priest stood daily, daily, ministering and offering sacrifice. But they took a physical animal, and that was the sacrifice that they offered to the Lord. Every offering that those priests offered to the Lord was physical.
Let's see that in First Peter, and he says this: to offer. What is it? This to offer up. What is it? We are a holy priesthood. To offer up spiritual sacrifice. To offer up. God put us in the priesthood to offer up, to make offerings to him. The Lord seeketh us to worship him. Go ahead, read what it says. To offer up what? Spiritual sacrifices. Which is what? Acceptable to God. Which is acceptable to God. By Jesus Christ. By Jesus Christ. A spiritual sacrifice. So when we assemble together, y'all listen, we worship. That's why we're here to worship. But we ain't just here to worship, we're here to worship God. It ain't about us, it's about the Lord. What will obligate me to worship more than anything is I understand my commitment and my obligation to God. And because of my commitment and my obligation to God, I get everything else out of the way. Because I understand it's about God. Offering to God 
and he goes up before the Lord. And sometimes we miss that. Cornelius, his arm, what he was doing, and went up before the Lord. Keep reading what it says. And thou sent me into Joppa. Oh no, read that again. I'm sorry. Read it again. He said, Thine arms and, and thine arms and thy prayers. And your prayer. And arms are come up for a memorial. And come up for a memorial. What? Before God. Before God. Listen, I want you to hear this. Man, God, see what you do. Worship ain't just about going through stuff. It's about what we offer to the Lord. It's what we do when it comes to God, when it comes to our giving, when it comes to our prayer, when it comes to our receiving God's word. It's what we offer God. Yeah. And if you can view worship like that, you'll receive. It's how we are. 